a world in which the drugs don't work is a threat to global health security. In 2019, the World Health Organization declared antimicrobial resistance one of the top 10 public health threats facing humanity. That year, drug-resistant infections killed at least 1.27 million people worldwide. And if resistance continues to grow, this figure could rise to 10 million deaths a year by 2050. That's as many as the current number of people dying from cancer. But how did we get here? Edward Manet, Charles Baudelaire, Guy de Maupassant, and Gaetano Donizetti have something in common. They all died of complications from syphilis, a sexually transmitted infection caused by bacteria. But in 1928, everything changed thanks to a revolutionary discovery, penicillin, one of the first antibiotics in the world. Since then, hundreds of antimicrobial drugs have been developed to treat infections caused by bacteria, viruses, fungi, or parasites in humans, animals, and plants. They have saved countless lives around the world. But now, their efficacy is at risk. Many of the microbes have evolved to be resistant and have become superbugs. Las bacterias luchan por sobrevivir. Nosotros vivimos en un mundo, en un ecosistema con bacterias que viven en el ambiente, viven en nosotros y bueno, pues sobrevivir es resistir a los antibióticos que nosotros nos tomamos o que hay en el ambiente. This is making infections increasingly difficult, if not impossible to treat, threatening modern medicine as a whole. Without effective antimicrobial drugs, medical procedures such as organ transplants, chemotherapy, and surgeries like C-sections will become riskier. But what's behind the spread of superbugs? The main causes are the misuse and overuse of antimicrobials. But that's not the full story. Pollution, a lack of clean water, sanitation and hygiene, poor access to medicines, vaccines and diagnoses, and insufficient prevention measures in healthcare facilities and farms all create breeding grounds for resistance. In 2022, the European Commission set antimicrobial resistance as one of the top three health threats. La ciudadanía y las propias organizaciones de pacientes no son o somos conscientes de la gravedad de los problemas de la resistencia antimicrobiana. Cerca de 37.000 personas que fallecen al año en Europa dan una dimensión del problema que tenemos. And the loss is not only human, but also economic. Antimicrobial resistance costs the European Union more than 1.5 billion euros in healthcare fees and productivity losses. That's because people suffering from these infections have to stay longer in hospitals and need more expensive medicines. Globally, if the situation isn't tackled, the cost of the economy could reach about 95 trillion euros by 2050. In the next decade, 24 million people could be pushed into extreme poverty. And because of some of the risk factors we mentioned earlier, low and middle income countries tend to be more affected. To address the issue, more innovation and investment in drug development are needed. In 2017, the World Health Organization published a list of antibiotic-resistant priority pathogens, a catalogue of 12 families of bacteria. The organization has warned that there are currently too few antibiotics in the pipeline to tackle them. But even if we manage to develop new bug killers, their efficacy could be compromised if we don't change the way we use them. Without rethinking the world's habits, these fresh meds could end up facing the same fate as the ones we've got now.